here in the street of Monrovia, there's, there's a body here. Uh, maybe Ebola, maybe something else, but the burial team has come. They're, they're busy spraying down the area where the person is. They're gonna wrap in, in plastic and take away. But I was talking to someone in the community and they had someone sick here yesterday. They didn't think it was Ebola. They thought it was something else and they called for help and no one came. They called again and no one came. And not until he died, a 37 year old man, not until he died did they come. And then they called and within one hour, the burial team is here. Uh, this is the place right now where if you die of Ebola, they're very quick for you. If you're living and you need help, there's really nowhere to go. He's not dead. He's not dead. They were wrapping him up to take him away, but he's alive. He's moving his arm. They almost took him away to the crematorium. And they noticed he's moving his arm. I don't know where they could take him. There are no hospitals to treat him. Now the first responders, the ambulance is here. They're trying to get them to stop to take him and uh, to somewhere where he can get some care. Yeah, but it's not clear yet. Whether, are they here for him or they're driving by? They're going to take him. The problem that they have here is that there's a lot more room for dead bodies than there are for people who need treatment. So when they thought he had died, it was very easy to come and collect him. But now the ambulance is here, they have to find a bed. And beds for treating people with Ebola are very scarce here in Monrovia. So the crowd is not happy. They want him taken right now to somewhere where he can get care. Uh, it doesn't look to me like he's going to be able to make it. A very few signs of life. But for them, he's a member of the community and he needs every chance that, that they can give him.